Good afternoon, Scarview 271. Ave Maria's Lanhart Box Press. Nicaraguan made cigar, 5.5 inch, 55 ring gauge. My main problem with the cigar, as maybe you can see, is that it is absolutely falling apart. I mean, the, the wrapper is coming straight off of the cigar. Now, one kind of pro tip here, if the wrapper begins coming off of the cigar, especially towards the beginning, you're not saving it. It's it's gonna come off. So what I would do is, you know, keep the band on as long as possible because it normally helps hold it together. But above the band, tear it off, right? The binder on this is binding it together. It's actually doing that job of keeping all that tobacco together. And normally the binder actually does a pretty good job. You can actually just smoke a cigar without the wrapper on it, no problem. It's not really gonna have a big impact because the wrapper is on there at the end. So you're not really changing the flavor profile that was intended in the cigar. In this cigar in particular, it burns well, draws well, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty good cigar. I get a little notes of chocolate, coriander, some other spices. Those are the primary notes that I get, but it's actually been a good cigar from kind of beginning to end, even though it was falling apart. It is frustrating though that, you know, I, I think it's about $6. In this price range, really in any price range, it shouldn't be falling apart. If I can get a Victor Sinclair cigar that is two and a half dollars that doesn't fall apart, there's no reason for the wrapper to come off this. And sometimes that could be a humidification issue, but my humidor is perfect. It is at exactly 70. All my other dozen cigars I smoked in the past week have been fine. This one's been in there longer than those. Should be good to go, but it's not. So come on guys, make one where the wrapper does not come to shreds. I mean, it just is flaking off of this thing. It's extremely thin wrapper. Uh, anyways, that's Scarview 271 for the Ave Maria. Again, notes of chocolate, notes of uh, some of that coriander, but the wrapper's falling apart. Even so, I'd probably still just give it a neutral rating. In this price range for a cigar that actually does taste pretty good, draws well, burns well, I I'm just not going to give it a don't buy rating based off of the wrapper. It could be a fluke. That's often the case. So, Anyways, that's it. Neutral rating for Scar 271. If you have not subscribed, please do. And as always, thank you for watching.